customs are curious, and their generosity is notoriously short-lived. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I'm gonna do a lot of shopping. Oh, uh, even even with a fifty percent discount, that's still way too expensive. I know, but I want it. I haven't seen it in fucking what are we at? Thirty-seven episodes. I want it. Time to sell absolutely everything I don't use. You, you fucking go. You, you fucking go. I never even used you. Get the hell out of here. Who needs belts? I don't need belts. Belts are worthless. I have a box. Oh yeah, I forgot these also extra incenses. Don't need those. Get that shit out of here. I'm so indecisive when I'm selling stuff because I, I I always have that collective mentality of I'm I'm gonna need it. But I mean, you won't. I know. That's why I gotta break all. this habit. Hey, what, what am I gonna use plus five dodge on an antiquarian for? I can make five dodge. And you're never gonna use that manslayer ring or the elder slayer ring. You don't use those. You know you're right. The belt who needs that? I have a box. And now I have the only talisman I'm ever going to put on my my grave robber, but I also need the uh, anti-hunger item. Ooh, level 2 leper. Really should have taken him. Why didn't you? Because I have brain problems. Do we, do we even have a second grave robber? No. I think- What the fuck? I think when I recorded- <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Loon will only ever drink that jackass, and then the fucking caretaker's like, I'm gonna get a drink. I regret everything. This right here, Highway, this right here, is why you upgrade your fucking services. It's fine, I'll just not use Loon for another it's, month. It's not fine. It's not fine at all. I never use the guy anyway, he could just sit at the bar for two weeks, he'll be okay. He won't. Yeah, this was the instance of I should probably start looking into new upgrades. Your abbey has a hole in the roof, High Wang. Who needs religion, pa? I'll I mean, the people of your fucking hamlet better have something to believe in. <laughs> this place is a piece of shit. They'll believe in the they'll believe in the power of medicine and steel. Ooh, that's that that is some great artwork on that charm. Yeah. Ah. Oh! Oh man, I really want oh, that, that, but that that that's good. I can't really justify damage on a Houndmaster because they never really, you know, do a lot of damage. Also, since we've hit this point in the game, level five champion dungeons—well, I should say, a uh, long-length champion dungeons—incentivize you to doing something so droll and grindy and unfun and painful. And God, why are we here? Our leopard just died again with ancestor gear. Ancestor gear is really powerful equipment at the cost of stress, much like the head, much like the boxes. Except these are guaranteed, and some actually don't even give uh, anti-stress. You can get Ancestor th gear through two means. This is one of them, the other is, uh, harder. Gotta kill a Shambler. Uh, I should point out, you can only get... Uh, some of the ancestors' gear from a shambler. All the rest you have to acquire through loot. Yes, the shambler holds a candle, a map, and three other accessories that uh, escape my vision. Uh, should I? Might as well. I have the tab up. No, I don't. Yeah, it's... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't. Just know that you're probably gonna hunt the shambler for a candle and a map. That's all I'll say. And, and when you beat the Shambler and you only get 75 gold, that's when you know to stop. That's when you realize, man, this game fucking hates me. Yeah. So last episode I mentioned this was an Antiquarian episode, I got things mixed up. This is a Training the Rookies episode because I really need a Jester at this rank. Mm. Yeah, train up that Shuffle Party. Let's go. Yeah.
That's that's totally what you're doing, right? Kinda. Yeah, I thought so. I do like the gesture, and this is actually an episode where I realized finale is a lot better than I gave it credit for. Like, who? I thought we realized that ages ago. <laughs> There's another facet that I didn't realize until this video, and oh man, I have never been more wrong in my life. Also, our jester's wearing two cloaks. What? What? I mean, why? I mean, Does I... I was stacking dodge on him, but then I just turned him into a poncho. I mean, maybe he rips one of them off in combat like NBA pants? <laughs> or it could be like a matador where he just kind of like throws one off. Yeah, there we go. I am ready. I feel sorry for Vidate after I gave him that voice. <laughs> we are also, once again, using Kaboom Dragoon, because that character is fun. Uh, we're never going to get a character who just sits in the Hamlet, are we? No, no. I really should have just left him there in retrospect. He would be the one survivor. <laughs> Just sitting there drunk, fucking entire army's missing. He's like, where the hell did everybody go? I think just about this time I realize I should probably get a... No, no, that's another episode. Because I know in this batch of five recordings where I just played for three hours and realized, wait a minute, what the fuck, where'd the time go? I, I unlock the uh, Eldritch Pull. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, this mission. Wonderful. Okay, so we're doing a purify mission, but we're not going to unlock a boss at the end of this, so why even bother? Training. Huh. This was me going, um, I haven't gotten to the ruins in, what, fucking ten episodes? Let's do this. Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the Fallen find rest? No. Also, here's the thing I learned by watching Jade Star play this game. Um, you can organize your inventory, your uh, attack roster. Hmm. Like, I honestly did not know about this until I saw him just, like, shuffling through his thing, and I thought, what the hell is he doing? Depending on what you click and when you cl Depending on what you click as you add skills, it will shuffle through the hotbar. So you could put high priority skills on one, so you could just tap one, tap your target, bam, attack, go. Hmm. I did not know this. I didn't either, that's very fascinating, quite frankly. Yeah. Even after 200 hours, there's stuff to learn about this game. Yeah, it's so fucking dense. Oh, hmm. I don't know if it's on Steam or not, but there was an article recently where they were debating the, uh... I don't know if ethics is the term I'm looking for, Desolated. but they were debating, like, when is it good to look up a, a, a Wikipedia in a video game, and the thumbnail was Darkest Dungeon. And I just sat there <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, even after, you know, my 150 plus hours of this game, I still end up, you know, having to look up what what, what to interact with, what, with what curios or, or whatever, but... <laughs> I don't know, I, I I think the answer of when is it okay is whatever the fuck you feel like it. With games like this, it's a matter of when you start feeling frustrated, it's perfectly okay to look up a wiki. I know, I always have one on my second monitor. Speaking of, there is a really good, uh... I gotta look for it in the thread and put it in the main post, but there is a really good, um, generator that just shows, that allows you to click on, uh, dungeon location, dungeon length, and dungeon difficulty, and it will tell you what items to buy, what to look out for, and, um, what you should probably bring in terms of team comp, and it is a really good resource. Well... I really don't like thinking when I play video games, this sounds great for me. My only criticism is that the generator gives you an inventory list based on every curio interaction in the game, uh, or in the dungeon. Yeah. It doesn't tell you the amount, and it doesn't tell you the worth. So, if I'd use that generator to say, oh, I'm going to a novice dungeon of medium length in the ruins, they would tell me, oh, bring two, bring two uh, disinfectants. 
To which I say, I don't want to bring two disinfectants. I don't see the worth in doing so because I will either get, I have a very rare chance to get gold, or I could just, you know, bring another key and get gold. So I would. But the, the Iron Maidens, Hai Wang, you need to open the Maidens. I rarely see the Maidens, honestly. I see them all the fucking time. I don't. Do the thing. Please just stab him. I know, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm anticipating. S really? Yeah, I was anticipating Vidate, because I know for a fact he's fast. I'm no cool. Okay. I'll, I'll buy that you actually planned that out. I wouldn't say plan, I was predicting that situation, because there's no planning around initiative. But I know, I knew that Vitae has a ridiculous amount of speed, and I said he's probably gonna follow up afterwards. And the uh, gamble paid off, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. This team's got a lot of high-speed characters, but I also know that KirbyCon has six speed, and he still outran uh, V Date. <laughs> That's why the initiative system bugs me so much in this game. Yeah, thirteen speed. We <laughs> gone. Like lost half to six. Like that. That just shouldn't happen. That's over double the speed. If I can roll a natural twenty on that roll. What the hell? I mean, he must have. It's the only way. Uh, don't need, I don't need to put my default rank. This is fine. Yeah, open up the finale and go back to business as usual. Mm -hmm. Now, a funny thing I a funny thing that I found in this game is that we got an accessory called Snake Oil, right there, <laughs> and all it does is give you negative ten stress, which is great because that's effectively worthless. Right. <laughs> so I thought that was a really good joke by the developers. Have I purified one already? Because I thought we passed yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, you got one of them. Yeah, well, the uh, purified mission for the ruins is a giant obelisk. Which, in all honesty, is not evil to me. I don't see why these people are so scared of a rock. Well, I mean, splashing the holy water on it does absolutely nothing. It's just a placebo effect. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Much like there, snake oil. The townspeople feel, feel better. Yes, exactly like snake oil. <laughs> That should be the episode title, Snake Oil. <laughs> what do we got in here? Uh, if only treasure could staunch the flow of... I mean, I could I could definitely treasure. use those in the future, but it doesn't really matter. It, it'd be a lot better if they were, like, Another one paintings. A uh, finale wasted on this audience. A little bit. Mecha still appreciate art. Wow, that actually killed something. I'm a little surprised. It's a maggot. Yeah, that's true. You, you'd be hard-pressed to not Executed kill it. With impunity. You'd be surprised at how little I kill things with that stupid skill. I know people swear up and it's down. It's a good skill. Victory. It's a really good... Look, a just because you have had no luck with that skill doesn't mean it's not good. <laughs> I thought you were going to say because you hate fun doesn't mean it's a bad skill. <laughs> Well, I mean, the skill's not any more fun than any other skill in this game, so I can't say that. That's like a primary argument my friends use against me. It's like, you just don't use this because you hate fun. Like, whatever. Weren't you the one who sat there for hours longer than you needed to playing that one East game because you wouldn't fucking heal? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Th there's a perfectly valid argument for why you hate fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, Arkham Nepishtim, not a fun game. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you don't fucking heal. And if you say, oh, well, fucking Toddy will say it's a good game. No, to even Toddy says Napishtim's a bad game. <laughs> Iron Swan. Swan. Oh, I had a really low roll on that disorienting blast and I was really confused. Because, <laughs> like, that bonehead has, like, a 20% stun rate and the, the uh, disorienting power was a, a 110 stun. So he's... <laughs> He survived a 10% chance- he, he rolled good on a 10% chance to resist, and I was really frustrated. Nice. And... Well, clean kill. Surges as the enemy yeah. Humbles. See? Skill is fun. You're, you're just wrong. That's not fun at all. That thing did 4 damage. I wiped my butt with 4 damage. 
That sounds awkward. Yeah, kinda. So on uh, AOE skills, there was a huge post. No, no, I'm thinking about <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about the fucking logistics of wiping your butt with actual damage. Okay. Just wipe your ass with sandpaper. <laughs> but yeah, um, I remember somebody did a huge post on AOE damage, and we discussed this before. But that right there is kind of why people love AOE damage, but also why I don't like to depend on it. Because sure, I got two kills, and that was really fucking awesome. But it was also five and four damage. A jester does more damage on a single skill. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. That was a fast hunger prompt. Where the hell did that come from? Are you still thinking about wiping your ass with damage? I mean, you can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh god. I really don't want the third to talk about wiping your ass with damage. <laughs> that would be well, really... Why, why would you use such an awful, <laughs> awful thing? Well, my initial mindset uh. was, um... My initial mindset was, wiping your ass is a degrading term, I'll use that. <laughs> uh. I don't need those crests. I really, really wish portraits stacked higher than three. Yeah, I know. It's so awful. I think it does with the... Um, it does when you have an antiquarian, but it's still a matter of... Ugh. The reason I have so little is because you won't let me have any. And that's yeah. why I like disorienting powder. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, you kill something with a curse. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, curses do damage, which is nice, because that's mm -hmm. oftentimes what I gotta rely on for a finisher with an occultist. Which is why when you play occultist, bring either stab or eldritch pool. That's gonna be your damage. Or abyssal artillery. No. Yes. No. It's a bad skill. It's a fun skill. It's fun, but it's bad. You have no idea how fun it is. I really don't, but it's bad. I'm trying to remember where the point where I realized something fascinating about Finisher. <laughs> like, I know what's in this video, damn it. Good. Man, I, I recorded these like a week ago, and I just never got around to, uh... We just had never really had the time to get around to them. Yeah. Also, Disorienting Blast can't hit rank 1, which is a little disappointing, honestly. Hmm. Like, I could kind of speculate as to why, but still, it'd be nice if the, if the uh, Plague Doctor had a means to stun the first person. Well, I mean, who the hell cares? I mean, I... I... I don't really think about it too hard. Yeah, I got I got the Hellion for that. I don't really need that. Yeah. Got a Hellion and... I mean, if you move that occult stuff, you can stab things, but... Uh, what do I want to do? Uh... Um... Why, what, why do you need so many... so many buffs? I'm trying to get rank. Th I'm trying to get the third slot for the um, treatment ward up and running, but a moment of rest I really need busts, and I've been ignoring those. Yeah, that's good reason. Horror. Okay. So I brought a plague doctor along, and I was like, I should really cure diseases. Oh wait, you didn't have the skills, did you? No, I had the skills. No one had a disease. Oh, okay. Everybody was clean as a whistle. Great. So I'm just gonna sing Eye of the Tiger to this Hellion. Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that song anywhere outside of Rocky. Really? You know, yeah, now that I'm thinking of it, I've never actually heard the song Eye of the Tiger. Huh. I mean, have I- Have you heard Turn Back Time? Yes, I have. 
Okay, so you've heard share, but not... I have the tiger. Well, I worked at a Dollar Tree, so I've heard odd <laughs> songs from the 80s. <laughs> but yeah... You know it's from the 80s? I of the tiger. I know! I of the tiger never the appeared on that made. radio. The path is like, clear. You just need we to listen to some 80s rock. You want to know the weirdest... There. Let me tell you the weirdest fucking thing about Dollar Tree. During Emily Christmas, I heard the fucking Star Wars bar theme. <laughs> what? Yeah, do 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 Yeah, okay. I heard that and I just sat there, I was putting up Christmas ornaments, and I just kinda of turned my head so <laughs> <and> like <laughs> What the hell? Not gonna use your holy water on that arm? Not yet. I'm saving that. Oh. It's gonna be a backtracking fun level, isn't it? Yeah, here is where I realized something about finale. It, wait. Obliterated. It yeah. Multiple ranks? Yeah. I can hit rank three with Finale. Did did they stealth patch that in? I don't know. I'm, I, I was so I could have. I could have fucking sworn it was only a rank one skill. Same. That's why I was so, like, antagonistic towards it. Huh. But I was just like, wait a minute. What the hell? I could have been doing this this entire time. Fuck it. Wow. Finale is so good now. <laughs> yeah, like, remember, viewers, that we ha we've both haven't really played the played Jester because it was so god awful in early access. Finale was trash in that it, oh, like. When I first did this LP, I mistakenly thought it was only 50%. That's why it was tra I thought it was trash. Mm -hmm. And it also causes those debuffs. So now now we know why Finale has all those debuffs. It has a stupid range. Yeah. Shit, if I could hit rank 1 to 3 with 150 damage, that's a little psychotic. Phew. With that in mind, if you're going to bring a... If I'm gonna bring a gesture from now on, I'm gonna max deck my uh, herbal medicines and bring <laughs> solo. Yeah. Wow, you actually, uh, you killed an armored target, Kaboom Dragoon. Nice work. So yeah, um, I gotta edit the second post in the thread because finale is is surprisingly good. So, finale is stupidly wonderful now. <laughs> and I have to apologize. I know I, I know everybody says I wrong, I'm wrong, but wow, was I wrong. Huh. Alright. I think now with the thought, though, the rest of the episode is me exploiting this new thought. Only the first test. <laughs> Huh. I can finale. Yeah. I can finale rank three. Also, look who's here. Oh, it just happens to be there. I can also just do this, you know. Come to the front of the class. I mean, that's not the front. Participation points. Come on, <laughs> get up here. You don't get participation points for halfway doing what you what you set out to do. Well, it's mainly seeing participation points for the, uh, for the cultist. Oh. Man, I used to do substitute teaching, and I just, I always love calling out people in the back row, because they do, they jump. They're just like, <laughs> oh shit, I was hiding here. I always sat at the front of the class. Why? Because I didn't want to get called on. Uh, you're smart. Yeah. I mainly sat in the back rows because it's closest to the door. And anytime I would do that, I was mainly trying to beat the lunch rush. It's a good plan. Thank you to Head. I like that. Yeah, it's a shame I don't do that in this game. I, 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 I can't ever say you didn't beat the lunch beat the lunch rush in this game, though. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me I'm fucking wrong. Shut up. Uh, I'll just finale something already. Here we go. Get fucked. 
A little low on the uh, damage side, but it'll do. Yeah. Now, one thing I should probably do is weakening curse that uh, arbalist. I don't know why yeah. I did to the to the skeleton dude because the arbalist is uh kind of far painful. more dangerous. Yeah. I hate the fucking bone arbalist. They have no right having that much HP. Like they have the same amount of health as a bone tank. That's insane. And they hit really fucking hard too. Yeah, like you could say, oh, just pull into the front of the class, but um, I can't do that with I can't do that with this team. I can gamble to do so, but I can't do it reliably. Mhm. Mm I mean, if you brought the tentacle pull thing, you could do it. Maybe. I got the Sorian blast. It's fine. Got the stun at least. Now, unfortunately, all those robes I put on Vidate don't mean a damn thing, because uh, <laughs> now that I've used Finale, he has no dodge. Because, um, yeah. pro tip, when you use um, Finale, you lose both accuracy, damage, and most importantly, 40 dodge. Holy shit. You are not dodging anything if you use Finale. That's why it sends you to the back row. Hmm. Didn't quite think the debuff was that severe, but... Eh. Like, that's the main reason why I hate it so much. It didn't seem like it did anywhere near enough damage back in the day. But now that we're seeing that Finale is actually really fucking good... Maybe I should be using it more. Oh, by the way, look who's here. <laughs> Shame that he's not in rank one. I'm so glad I got a combat jester. It feels really good. Yeah, it turns out a jester can be more than just a guy playing a loot. Bullshit. You know. Remind yourself that overcome. Uh, look, is if slow, if if they were meant to just play killer. the loot, they'd be called a bard. Bards do a lot more than just fucking be a joke, man. Kind of wish I could have purified that altar before getting that treasure. Yeah. I really hate it when the game does that. Look, I mean, but but bards are like the equivalent of the guy in the Revolutionary War who just played the drums or the flute. Like he's he's not really helping. You you just don't roll good bards then. Maybe because bards suck. Though I will say I have not seen a good bard in video games because I. I can only think of one good bard in a video game, and that's Dandelion and the Witcher, and he's not even a- he's not even like an NPC in that game. He doesn't even help you in combat! <laughs> nope! You know what he does? He just fucking gets laid and plays music. That's why he's a I good mean, bard. <laughs> I mean, he, that, that's a pretty good thing to aspire to, I guess, but... He's honestly a good character, but he does fuck all for Geralt. I, I mean, I fucking love Dandelion, I love whenever he shows up, but yeah, he, he's useless. Oh god, The Witcher 3 is so fucking weird because all the all the little intermission cutscenes are supposed to be Dandelion narrating them, mm -hmm. but it sounds nothing like Dandelion, and then you actually meet Dandelion after, what, 30 hours of playing? And it's the same voice actor! I'm just like, who the fuck? <laughs> okay, we're not touching that one either. Uh, no, I only have one holy water, and once I finish- You had two holy waters, you had two. Oh, do I? Yeah. I honestly don't I, remember this episode, I just so. saw your inventory, you have two. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get both those urns once I'm done here. My main idea is I'm gonna clear the dungeon out, then I'm gonna kill the torch, and then I'm gonna get a whole shitload of loot. Then you're gonna run into a shambler and run away. Hell yeah! I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> Oh, One day man. we'll beat a shambler, I swear. I know, I'm so disappointed that I haven't found a fucking thing since. Because there have been two people in the third that are just like, Hey, I fought my first shambler and killed it, and I'm like, fuck my life! <laughs> like, I know I got a video demonstrating the shambler on my YouTube channel, and people still, like, fucking rage over that video to this day. But that's not well, a good that video was that video was bullshit. He didn't even summon his other dudes. Yeah, that was when he was first made, and I don't even think he had that ability. Oh wow! So yeah, you 
you really need to step up your game and be the shambler. I know, I know. It's got such a cool looking background too. Yeah, it's like, it's like swirling in stars and shit, it's awesome. Swirling to your doom, more like. <laughs> it's like you're stuck in the universe's toilet. It's great. Yeah. That's a very the apt way of putting it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't fucking bring Edward Carnby into this. Everyone loves Edward Carnby. Speaking of, I'm still wondering if fucking Retsupre is gonna do the thing I sent them. Oh, uh, they fucking better. I have half a mind to ask Slowbeef if you ever got those videos. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they've got like a huge backlog of stuff they want to do. Yeah, that's probably true. And, and people probably send them stuff all the time. It might be a while before they actually get to it. Yeah, but the, until they do, that's like fucking 10 gigabytes on my hard drive just committed. These nightmarish creatures yeah. can be felled. They can be beaten. What's in the box? Wonders the jester. Nothing. Well, that was really a letdown. <laughs> Secrets and wonders can be found. Yay, dark run. This is a dark run, right, Shitlin? Uh huh. Sure. I am a brave I boy. I, I, I can't believe how brave you are, by the way. Oh, what the fuck am I gonna do with all this? This is trash. Take it home. Oh, that was a garbage roll. Yeah, the way... In this game, the way loot works is that the darker it is, the higher chances that you get more loot. It doesn't modify the quality of the loot. All you're yeah. doing is getting more rolls. Which is a little disappointing because you kind of really, you really want those um, rubies and sapphires. That's the motivation to why people do the dark runs. Mm -hmm. uh, You're not going to explore the ancillary runes. I think I do eventually. Actually, no, I don't because I, I distinctly remember I was like, I'm just gonna get these two runes and call it. I have a full inventory. Yeah. Full of trash. Yeah, garbage boat forever. Holy shit. See, that was a good roll. That's a roll I want. Yeah. Yeah. That last one, get that shit out of here. For this mission, we got a antiquarian item that increases heal factor done to it. Not really a good accessory though. I wouldn't waste Not an really, no. I wouldn't waste an accessory slot on that. Uh what's on the docket? Uh, I mean, yes! Veloxel, holy shit. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Especially when combined with your double box strategy. Yeah. I believe next episode I lock it, so get ready for that. Oh. That, that god, I guess? I don't know. <laughs>